Hey everyone, I'm Miles Grab, and uh, if you follow my channel, you know, I normally talk about comics and science and stuff like that, but uh, I'm making this video today to ask for help. Um, so I grew up in Orville, California, and Chico, California, and, and then later on I lived in Paradise, California with my father. Um, he's a really hardworking guy, you know, he used to be a lumberjack, and then he had a construction company in Chico. And then he's looked after old people, or old folks, for quite a while in paradise. And um, he's lived happily there for a while. You know, it's a really peaceful mountain town. I think he has enjoyed it. Um, but last week, something terrible happened. Paradise is gone. It's completely burned down. And a fire swept the area, the campfire you might have been following on the news. And this isn't just you know, like a tragedy, this town is gone. Um, its infrastructure is gone. Its, its schools are damaged or burnt. Its hospital, the same. The grocery stores, the even the fast food places, the, all the homes are gone. It looks like a war zone. It is complete devastation. And I fear there's no easy way to rebuild. This area already had a housing problem, the general area of Butte County, and now there's 40,000 people without a home. This is a problem that charity alone won't fix. We need charity and we need kindness. We need people who are good at engineering. We need people who can build. But we need more help than that. We need the federal government to step in. Only FEMA and the power of the federal government can help and make this right. I don't think that means that any individual shouldn't do what they can, but I think that we need to, as a people, expect our government to protect us. That doesn't just mean investing in the military. That means when these kind of things happen, when hellfire consumes an entire town, when people's lives, everything they worked for, when they did everything right and worked hard and saved their money and participated in the American economy, and it's in ashes before them, no fault of their own, something needs to be done. Now, some people might say, what about insurance? Well, not everybody has insurance. All these people are renting, and they don't have anything. You know, my dad, he, he worked his whole life. You know, his muscles hurt. He's in pain all the time. He's one of the hardest working people I've ever known. When I was growing up, you know, he'd work 60 hours a week all the time. And... You know, he's had a hard time. He's been in so much pain from working so hard his whole life. And he just recently got an e-bike and was he loved it so much because, you know, he loves the woods and he loves nature. And he, he, he's always posting his dorky videos of him uh, driving around in the woods with his bike. And he loved it so much. And now that's all gone. It's It's been taken from him. Like I said, and all these people, a lot of the old folks that live up in paradise, they've lost everything. And they just need so much help. Um... You know, there's organizations like the Red Cross, and there's a lot of churches and other secular groups doing what they can to help people, give them supplies. And that's great. And these people now have a lot of supplies, but they don't have any place to put them. And it's not just that. You can't feel better unless you have your own bed and you have your own space. You need it. It's so important. And so I guess I'm asking for in this video is that people demand that people do what they can be activists be vocal and make sure the federal government does what it needs to do to help these people because without fema support i don't see how paradise can grow back anytime soon not even in a decade's time it is that bad if you don't believe me go watch some of the drone footage of people flying over the town they're just houses after houses that are just just completely devastated. It is there's so much trauma and pain in those images. And as somebody who used to live there, it was a quiet, peaceful mountain town, and it didn't deserve this. And it's wrong. And there's not much people like you and I can do to fix it. It takes a giant structural system with a ton of capital and a ton of engineers to come in here and fix this. And if we don't demand that our government does, then I, I don't know what to say. So to those of you who want to help or are in Butte County, please do so. There's still a lot to be done. And um, those of you who want to donate to people's GoFundMes or charities, 
that's great. I, I definitely encourage people to give to people without their homes, not just the groups like the Red Cross. Um, nothing against them specifically, but people don't have homes. And the supplies and stuff are nice, but people need homes. That, that's my main point. And I just kind of ask that people really focus and try to help because Paradise isn't in a fancy area. It's not by a coast. It's, it's not particularly famous for anything. You know, we're not going to get a lot of news coverage. We're not going to be a fancy, you know, hashtag on Twitter for very long. All we have is people who... We just have a bunch of people in the community who are good people. And that's all we have. And I'm just asking you to help them in any way you can. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry for this rambling video. I just didn't know what to do. I've been trying to help people and to see my dad who, you know, he did, he could have stayed and evacuated more of his stuff, right? Like his bike, his TV, his money. We had this Joe Montana signed football that like, you know, it was a picture of my dad holding me and holding it in one hand. It's like a family heirloom, you know, it's like really important to us. And you see him, you know, big 49er fan It's and it's gone. That's just not part of our family anymore you know like and that's hard and my dad he stayed and saved people you know he he rode back on his bike in the smoke and in the fire and in the ash and he led people out of there and it cost him everything to do that and I'm sure other people did that too and uh, you know he saved his dog and he saved other people and for that he's does, doesn't have any clothes and doesn't have any money and doesn't have his house and there's tons of people like that in paradise you know i don't know everybody's story i just know my father's but we need help and i guess this is my video pleading for that help uh i'm sorry it's not the most eloquent video i've ever made but i felt like i had to say something so um please don't let the story die these people's lives are and smolder and they need your help so thank you